John McCain. Da David, what do you make of this news that Sarah and Todd Palin are going to be giving depositions uh, in this trooper investigation on Friday in St. Louis? It's certainly the last thing I guess the campaign wants to be talking about uh, today. Absolutely. It's one more diversion of a campaign that desperately needs to have a consistent message about the economy day after day. And Sarah Palin now has gone from being a strong plus to a growing liability uh, for John McCain as he seeks independents and Democrats to come over. She's still very strong with the base but not beyond that. That new NBC Wall Street Journal poll we talked about last night, Anderson, back in September, they had Sarah Palin 47% positive by the public, 27% negative. Today, it's 47% negative, 38% positive. She's had a real reversal here over the last several weeks. And to have this kind of, I don't think this deposition, I think the deposition may help to clear her. But you just don't want these kind of distractions toward the end of a campaign. Yeah, uh, Tara, that poll that Dave was talking about, it, it says, and I quote, that, that a Palin appears to be a continuing, if not an increasing, drag on the GOP ticket. As David said, 49% of voters have an unfavorable opinion about her. A, a, at this point, does the McCain campaign do something to kind of counteract that, or is, is I mean, the, the time's nearly up? Yeah, well, one correction, um, Anderson, I have not come out to support any candidate. Oh, I'm um, sorry about and, that. Yeah, but I will say that, he, they, you know, listen, they need to keep doing what they're doing in a sense. It is, it ha she has been a drag in many ways. I think, actually, the parodies that uh, Tina Fey has done on her probably have hurt more than help in, in some ways. It's given uh, folks a different kind of perception of her and, and questioned her abilities. And, and of course, this, the Katie Couric interviews. But I think what she's doing now, going out doing interviews, with McCain on the trail, on the stump, can probably help a little a little bit. But in the long run, I think uh, most Americans are paying attention to what matters, and that is the economy, that is the issues, uh, national security, foreign policy, uh, things of those natures, issue of those issues like that, as opposed to uh, how likable or unlikable Sarah Palin is. The candidates are what matter at the top of the ticket. Uh, Joe, has she, especially uh, toward uh, undecided and, and independent voters, has she been a, a drag? Yeah, I think so. I think, and it's a, it's kind of an embarrassment. A day, I mean, today's embarrassment was the fact that she spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on clothes uh, in the in the month <laughs> well, of September. Luckily she, for her, she didn't spend the money. It was the Republicans did. Right. Um, but also today in the uh, NBC interview. Um, she she was asked what a precondition was in the negotiation, and she couldn't really answer it. You know, a precondition is a demand that you make of the other uh, of the other party going in, just as we're demanding of Iran that they stop, uh, you know, uh, making nuclear f fuel. She didn't know that, and every time she's asked a question, she doesn't know it. I think that more and more votes drift away. Tara, I, I, sorry, go ahead. I just wish I, I wish they would also ask these same questions about the inexperience particularly foreign policy when it comes to Barack Obama. She's not being held, number one, to the same standard. And she is, again, the number two on the ticket. I mean, let's get real here. I don't think that we've heard these the same type of aggressive questions about the lack of experience from Barack Obama, who essentially was in the Senate 143 days before he launched his campaign. So in all fairness, actually, to be fair, the Pew Center just issued a, a report out today that actually showed how much coverage these candidates were getting. The good news is they're both getting coverage equally. The bad news for the McCain campaign is that it seems that he's getting the brunt of the negative coverage. So I think that if the scales were balanced a little bit more here and we were asking those same tough questions of the top candidate, of the other candidate who also has, who also is lacking in experience, if you will, in many minds, I, just uh, I think that, that we, could have yeah, some, we would have a, a real conversation here. You know, I, I, I just completed an interview with, uh, with Obama. Most of it was about foreign policy. And, uh, and he's been pretty strong on that. I mean, the status of forces agreement in Iraq uh, now pretty much conforms to the uh, withdrawal plan that he wanted to see. He and I talked about Afghanistan, and he is really keeping up. In fact, he and General Petraeus have come to the same conclusion that we should be negotiating with the Taliban, that we should be trying to do with some of the southern Pashtun tribes in Afghanistan what we did with the Sunnis in Iraq, which is, you know, an awakening program to pry some of the tribes away from the bad guys. He keeps up with this stuff. He's been on top of it. I was kind of surprised by how so much he knew. You don't think he's been uh, let off the hook? Uh, no, I, I don't think he was. If, well, maybe Joe didn't let him off the hook, but I'd love to, I'd love to hear more of that, see more of that, you know, across... Uh, it's in some, Time some, Magazine some, this week, Tara. No, you can no, read it. no I don't, I, in addition to your magazine, though, I mean, I'd love to see the Katie Kirks and the Charles Gibsons and all the others that are doing yeah. these interviews and that are, you know, scrutinizing uh, her everywhere do the same. 
with Barack Obama because I, I you know when he again when he was in Israel and he was in his, on his European tour uh, there were some moments okay. there that I saw that he really did come up short and and still there again there are many questions in some Amer in Americans minds about just okay, where he it. is on foreign policy. We're going to have more for Tara and uh, David Gergen and Joe Klein uh, coming up. I'm next John McCain in the situation.